Welcome back to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Although at this point I'd call it Harry Potter and the Sus Beans. Anyway, we're off to Charmed class, and is that more beans I see laying around? Oh no! I forgot in my spell book! Well, so have I, it seems. I mean, I don't have anything on me. Maybe it's just an excuse to do anything, but, well, something. Get to the Charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Uh, excuse me, what are you on about? Oh, these things. Actually, no, you need to explain more. So, how this works is, you have a time limit to get the class, otherwise you'll be penalised. Makes sense so far. Well, what doesn't make sense, is that you need to do these obstacle courses to get the class. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Stairs. They're a great way of getting up to higher places, just stack some blocks together that go slightly higher each time, and you'll easily be able to walk to places you couldn't reach before. Not these stupid floating tables that magically appear. Yes, we get it, you can use magic, but you don't have to use it for everything. Oh, I almost didn't mention. Beans. It's not even weird at this point, like, it's just a given they'll be here. And, like, they make it harder for everyone by lining them up this way. The last one went straight ahead, which made sense. Well, it didn't, but it made more sense. Here they just decide, oh, let's have students jump from side to side for no reason at all. Someone needs to inspect this school. Like, why does Dumbledore not look at this? Or is he too busy thinking about more words that are wonderful? You must be Harry Potter. Welcome to Charms class. You're just in time. No thanks to you. Welcome, young oh come on, no way Mon made it through in time. You're telling me he voluntarily jumped through all those? Maybe he found a secret elevator we didn't know about. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell. Okay, sounds easy enough. Oh dear. I'm glad to see he knows how to give constructive criticism. Not good. That wasn't what I meant. Oh dear. I can't help it. I swear, I can't, it's a curse. That was good. Excellent. Oh dear. <laughs> I just ruined this guy's day. In all seriousness, this is actually pretty easy. Was good. Damn it, I spoke too soon. Oh dear. Dude, I got them white. What are you complaining about? Oh dear. Again, I'm doing fine. Like, he really just hates me now, doesn't he? Perfect. See, when you're actually competent at life, unlike me, it's pretty easy. Keep up now. It's going to get harder. Keep trying. He's quitting after this class, isn't he? Well done. You've mastered Wingardium Leviosa. I mean, I think I have to try that a few more times before I can say I've mastered it. Potter, Granger, and Weasley. Why just us three? Like, what? Nobody else gets to try it. You on your own? A charmed object can be levitated. Keep the cross button depressed. Why did you word it like that? If my cross button's depressed, I want to get it help, not keep it depressed. Well, we're tasked with levitating this object, and one decided to play with this tiny hourglass. He just finds any excuse not to do anything. Can't believe Malfoy took your owl. Oh yeah, change the subject. I guess he's actually trying out the spell. I mean, Hermione over here isn't doing anything. You're meant to be the good one. I can't wait to levitate objects. Well, that's what we're meant to be doing right now. I guess I just have to do everything myself. Well done. Five points to Gryffindor. We even get house points. Oh yeah, great. Don't give anyone else a chance to get any. The other houses don't even get an opportunity. Favoritism, I tell ya. And then after class, we're given this letter. Dear Harry, please meet me in the castle grounds. You can get to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Oh, really? Can you now? Who would have thought? Uh, actually, scratch that. No, I can't. The door's locked, remember? Ah, God, I, I forgot about Dumbledore's insides, though. Pop around for a cup of tea and a chat. Okay, the school groundskeeper's asking an 11 year old student to meet him for tea. It's a, it's a little bit questionable. But before then, how he's gonna leap for like his life depended on it to get these beans before anyone else does. And now we're 12% of the game completed already. And we're still not going outside. And we're gonna go to this place which is now open. We're basically standing Hagrid up. Poor guy. Watch out for the suits of armor. Oh for God's sake, they have killer knights here too. Look at this. Why is this in a school? Ah! Oh my god, like this is clearly a serious hazard for students. This school needs an inspection. Oh, oh, hold on. Look what this guy's protecting here. Wow. Beans. Y yeah, this was set up by Fred and George to protect their beans. That's it. Once again, we see those two up to something. I bet they're the guys trying to steal the Philosopher's Stone. That was just an unfortunate landing. What's more unfortunate is how he forgets how to jump. Or the concept of height. But here we see another bookcase entrance, so let's see what's in here. Help me, Harry! What, did you get stuck in here? 
Just go back through the bookcase. Some nasty Slytherin student has charmed all of my chocolate frogs, pumpkins, and cauldrons into the air. Why just those three? Also, how many cauldrons do you own? Like, why do you need more than one? And also, what's with all the pumpkins? Please help me to get them back by using your knock chunks to bring them down. Okay, so you know how to get them down? Why don't you just do it yourself? Or oh, just, just get me to do it. What, you want me to do your laundry next? Like, what was he gonna do if I didn't come in? Like, oh, this is terrible. If only Harry would walk through this random bookcase to help me out. And now we have a minigame. The idea is to flip end these objects that get thrown into the air. So, are they actually charmed, or is the Slytherin just hiding behind the wood and throwing them into the air? Like, could we not just attack him? Oh, and did I also mention when you hit them, they bloody explode! Like, you think that defeats the purpose of this whole thing? I'm not giving them back, I'm destroying them all. So, we need to get a certain amount of Neville's Toads, uh, I mean, uh, chocolate frogs, pumpkins, and cauldrons. Well, just two pumpkins and cauldrons. Mostly it's the chocolate frogs, they're his favourite. Although the annoying part is they keep throwing things you don't need to hit. Like here, I have to hit one more chocolate frog, but the dude keeps throwing pumpkins up. Like, what am I meant to do? Where are my frogs? Though once you do do it, you get the most adorable little celebration in history. Thank you, Harry. Here, have my famous witches and wizards card as a reward. I mean, that's nice and all, but your fa famous witches and wizard card? Y you mean this is your only one and you're giving it to me? Like, I don't want to take it, you keep it. Cornelius Agrippa. Oh, no, never mind, it's Cornelius Agrippa, I'm taking it. Who's Cornelius Agrippa? Another bookcase in this room holds yet another card. This time surrounded by Erex beans. These things are everywhere. Salazar Slytherin. Oh yeah, it figures one of the bad wizard's cards are surrounded by these beans. Was this some kind of necromancy summoning that I interrupted? Fred and George are really gonna have me killed, aren't they? I'll just take this as evidence. More knights guarding beans? Even more suspicious? This is literally the entire purpose of the womb. Just these knights guarding some beans. What is with these beans? What are they? Oh, we're now 17% of the way complete. Those couple of cards were worth 5% of the game. You can also get some house points by putting this candle on the table. Like, who was watching me do this? Come out, you creepy bastard. And I guess they rewarded me for tidying up? Did some mischievous student think this would be funny? <laughs> no, look who's back. The main villain of the story. Having a tour of the castle, are we? I mean, that is what Dumbledore asked of me. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Are you actually blocking anyone from leaving the school? Trapped in a big scary castle, eh? He is! Oh like, surely you're not allowed to do this. Are none of the teachers concerned about the student blocking the exit to the castle? Does any teacher care about anything in the school? I mean, I suppose he isn't really blocking anything. He just stood in front of an already locked door and started acting tough. Go back to the muggles, Potter. You hardly belong in the company of wizards like me. You know, maybe he has a point. Look what he did to those books in the library. All I can do is look. All I can do is a fl All I can do is a fl All I can do is a flipendo. Jesus Christ. I can't even do English that well either, it seems. Well, if we can't leave, let's just continue exploring into the dungeons. Where there's even more of these bloody beans! Does anyone else in this school not see this? Well, I think Snape sees it. He's just staring at it. Mr. Potter. Oh god, he's gonna question me about these beans, isn't he? A sloth brain. A sloth brain. Sloth. He installed some kind of barrier too. I, I, I can't get through this. Air. The dungeons are closed until the sloth brain is returned. Okay, so Sliver and still don't have a common room. No wonder Draco is so moody. Stop pestering me, Potter. Stop pestering me, Potter. Stop pestering me, Potter. This is my new favorite hobby. Stop pestering me, Potter. 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 They're even in the Great Hall, just lying on the tables. Surely this would raise some eyebrows. Howie, stop. You remember the last time you played with fire? The nurse warned you about this. No, never mind. I think they installed child locks on that fire after that incident. Alright everyone, I am the headmaster now. You there, stop spinning. Now that we have enough beans, we can go get that password for the portrait. Although I am skeptical about giving them any beans. I'm gonna regret this. So you're round. Okay, that's that transaction done I guess. Wait, 
Where did they go? What? George went this way, and he's not here. They just disappeared. Oh, I really shouldn't have given them those beans. This is bad. There's definitely something magic about them. Well, we give the portrait the white password, and the reward is... A boomstick. It's my boomstick. Nimbus 2000, that's the boomstick Harry has. They stole my boomstick. They set this up. They wanted me to collect those beans for their devious plots, and kept my boomstick as hostage. These two are the villains. That much is sure. We can then go here and put these hourglasses back on the... These things. What are they? Holders or something? And that opens this door. So, feathers, hourglasses, anything but keys, I guess. How the hell did that happen? Like, maybe it was locked for a reason. Winds are too strong right now. Anyway, that was enough to piss, piss Draco off, so he's gonna fight me. So, he's gonna throw these wizard crackers at me, which explode after a certain period of time. Which I then just throw back at him. It, it, it's basically the first boss fight of the game, and pretty easy, all things considered. After about three, he calls him back up. Crab, take care of this upstart. <laughs> yeah, we're flubbing. Dead. I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. So the great thing about the super wizard crackers is that is that they explode on impact. So I can't throw them back to him. But he has crab for the original ones that I can't throw back. Have you not thought this through, Draco? If you just throw the super crackers, I can't do anything. Why am I arguing with a fictional character from a PlayStation 1 game? Crab, you idiot! You're supposed to protect me! Well, maybe stop getting him to throw the wizard crackers, that's the problem. So he brings in Goyle now, who also throws the old wizard crackers. Quite frankly, Draco, you deserve to get beat. You know, there's three of them. Two of them are bigger than me. Why don't they just one at me and beat me up? Like, would that not be easier? It's not like the teachers would care. Oh, another wonderful word. Brutalize. Blast you, Potter. Next time you won't be so lucky. Hopefully next time you won't be so stupid. What you're about to see next is pure comedy gold. Which never bloody ends! Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Uh, good for them. And here we have the involuntary, unskippable cutscene where we sit and watch sand fall. There was no better way to do this. Like, when Dumbledore said slowly, he really meant it. I also like how in the background there's people talking, yet we have an empty room for this. Like, literally no one cares. The ghosts, I guess, are talking. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Who is cheering? Like, there's nobody here. I like how it's overwhelm overwhelmingly cheers as well. Like, even the Wavenclaw and Hufflepuff are cheering. Oh, well, this is nice. Damn it, the music is still broken. Hello, Harry, it's me, Hagrid. You know, I really don't think I need a comment here. Like, I'm sure every joke about this model has been made. You'll need to attend your herbology class. Ah, yeah, I'm probably a little late considering I was fighting Draco and hunting for beans. I've something to ask you. Just as long as it's nothing that will get you arrested. Harry can't even take his eyes off him. Like, he definitely sees something fishy. Oh, and of course, we have to do another obstacle course in order to get the class. Look at this layout. Like, it would be so easy to put a staircase right here. There's enough space, but no. Magic blocks you need to flippendo to move. And I only learned this from Nick after going into the library because Draco stole my owl. Think how many new students don't know this stuff yet. How are they gonna get the class? Harry Potter, I presume. Welcome to Herbology. You're just in time. You had a good view of how I had to get up here. If I wasn't on time, you'd understand why. Well, look at this. Five whole students. You know why there's so few students? Because nobody else can figure out how to get up here. I mean, having the door locked for most of the time may also contribute that, to be fair. And the Incendio spell was learned the same way as the Wingardium Leviosa spell. By messing up my entire life. Keep trying. Not good. Are the teachers in this school so incapable of giving actual helpful advice? Or do they just not care? I mean, given Draco can block the entire school, I'd say they just don't care. Now follow me to learn how to use the Incendio spell. And by that she means just Harry. The only person who matters.
Do we really need this extended shot of her walking away? Get the correct symbols and you'll build up enough spell power to affect the bulb. I love the way she says bulb there, by the way. Look, they even have chocolate frogs laid out if I get hurt. I'm just gonna take them now, even though I'm at full health. The incendio spell is easy, do you just press some buttons? I mean, you could say that about pretty much every game, but you know. Oh, it turned into a little baby bulb. Um, I think this guy is staring at me. You should have a go. I hear you're pretty good on a broomstick. How would you know that? Like, my only time on a broomstick was in Madame Hooch's lesson. And I was the only one there. Rumor spreads fast in Hogwarts. When no one was around to see the rumor. Oh no, it's them again. What are they doing here? Okay, just eyes forward, ignore them, and move on. You know, maybe we should talk to them before they order me to be killed. Bring us blue every flavor beans. Oh, you want more beans? Wow. What power do the blue ones have? Do they make people's eyes bleed upon sight? There are some weird creatures running around out there. You referring to yourselves by any chance? My poor kitten has fallen down the well. I can't reach her. Okay, I know you're in distress right now, but I'd be concerned if you could reach down there. If you can find the bottom of the well, you might find her. You know, dude, why don't you just ask a teacher or go find it yourself? Why is Harry the one who has to do everything for everyone? Look at the size of this well, too. No wonder his cat fell down there. My kitten is still down there. By the sounds of things, I think Harry's has fallen down there, too. I used to have a puff skein, but Fred and George used it for bludger practice. Oh, I think he's upset. No surprise those two used this thing for a devious plan. But look at this thing. Like, it's so adorable. I want one of those. I mean, it even follows you around. It's my own little buddy. I love it. And if you guide it into the bushes, it eats them. Which is good, because for some reason, bushes hurt Harry. Although, there is an explanation for that. When a dude eats them, uh, beans pop out of them. It's the beans that were hurting me. I knew I shouldn't have given them any beans. Look at what they're doing. But enough of killer bushes. Let's see what's behind this wall. That was a normal sentence. Hello, Harry. What's this guy doing behind here? Try to grab all the Bertie Bot's beans. Okay, Fred and George set you up for this minigame, didn't they? This is quite simple. Collect all the beans and avoid these bouncing bulbs, whose pattern is so difficult to understand. Well done, Harry. You collected all the Bertie Bot's beans. You've earned a famous Witches and Wizards card for your troubles. And I get another card. It seems the only reward the school can think of is Wizard cards. And we're here at Hagrid's. Harry. Can you fetch me some fire seeds from a rare plant in the forest? What? Why are you asking me to do it? Is Howie the school's hired hand or something? Get it yourself, this is your job! Been some very strange goings on of late. Be careful, Harry. <sighs> then why are you asking a student to go out there unsupervised? This is incredibly irresponsible. Like, I'm taking my frustrations out on you. Okay, he doesn't seem phased in the slightest. If Lependo doesn't work, I don't know what will. Out of my way, Harry. There's a, there's a huge monster down there. Uh, excuse me, what? Th okay, we're heading back. We need to tell Hagrid this. Have you got those fire seeds? No. I'll be waiting on you then. So you don't care about the huge monster that's down there? Best of luck. Fine, fine. I'll get myself killed for your own stupid fire seeds, Hagrid. Maybe this portrait can help me out. Hello. You're a Gryffindor student, aren't you? Nice to see a new face. You won't be seeing this face much longer if Hagrid gets his way. Well, maybe we can find some help in this wall. Oh, for God's sake, it's you again. So we do the exact same minigame again. Get another wizard card. Something that could kill a monster would be more helpful. And now we're off to our deaths. Except we're not because we have more walls to look inside. Someone has charmed this wizard card up here. Probably hiding it from someone. Well, too bad, I'm taking it for myself. Oh god, it's Palpatine again. If only there was a teacher here that could help me. And our next boss fight is this gargoyle, who you just need a flipendo to beat. Pretty simple. At least I thought it was simple. It wasn't accepting my flipendos for a while, for whatever reason. Rude. But eventually we bit it. And it just sits down and it behaves itself. I suppose that is the best case scenario. Now we use Wingardium Leviosa to get it back on the, um... I really need to learn what those things are called. Oh, of course. Beans fly out. That's what made it alive. So that leaves one conclusion. The cloak guy is Fred. Or George. Or both of them. And they're using these beans to try and kill me and everyone in the school. It's the only logical conclusion. Conveniently, there's a health potion just lying on the floor here. 
You know, drinking that may not be the wisest move. It's quite suspicious it was just laying there. Maybe it was poisoned. Oh well, we're gonna die anyway once Fred and George kills us all. Hagrid? Hagrid? What is this? Where have you sent me? He sent me to the bloody Hogwarts volcano. No student should be sent here to any place involving lava by any teacher without supervision. In my school, we couldn't even go to the local park without parent guidance or a teacher around. And yet in Hogwarts, you can be sent to the center of the earth as a favor for the groundskeeper. But it is worth it because look where we end up. We're in Puffskein Paradise. This is amazing. This is no longer amazing. This school has crossed the line. Okay, in order to get up here, you need to trap these poor Puffskeins in this little hole in order for air to blow you upwards. Like, this is just beyond cruel and incredibly unnecessary. What is this school's problem? Oh, and we just so happened to pass floating beans? I don't want to be in this school anymore. And things get worse, though, when you have to force this Puffskein to eat these bushes causing them to grow unnaturally quickly to dangerous sizes and then trap them in this hole that has been designed for giant puffskeins. This is just purely sadistic. And this part was only for this lever, like, why not have it on the ground? Anything for an excuse to trap more puffskeins. Are you serious, Hagrid? Did you, did you know, did you knew about this, didn't you? This is why he sent me. He didn't want to go through here and potentially kill himself or get hurt. So he'll just send the boy who lived, he'll be fine. I may have survived Voldemort because of some spell, but that doesn't mean I can survive lava. Oh, with the grounds crumbling beneath me too, isn't this lovely? Oh, well I guess he can survive lava. Duke can just one over lava, like that's quite impressive. You know, come to think of it, the lava is touching the trees. How is this whole forest not burning down? Like, what are these trees made of? And here we are finally at the fire seeds. For some reason lying on this lonely little bit of land here. Yet another suspicious part of the school. And now we have to risk my life again to get them all the way back. If this was Frodo, the eagles would have come get him by now, but Harry gets no help. And we survived. Well, with that, I think we'll end this here before Harry does actually die. And before we have to harm more innocent Puffskeins. Anyway, we still have quite a bit of, quite a bit left to go in this game, so if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next one. Take care.